Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Dr. Amel Ibrahim from City Skin Clinic. Today I thought we'd talk about rosacea. Um, this is a, a skin problem um, that we get a few questions about because it's very difficult to treat. Um, and so I thought it would be a good thing to share a little bit about the background and the uh, causes and what treatment options there are. Uh, before I continue, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe to our page. And if you enjoy this video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also check us out. We've got a lot of content on social media. Um, so there are links to our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And of course, uh, at, like with all our videos, I'll leave links to the relevant pages to this on our website, as well as um, uh, any other interesting um, literature from the web that I think would be useful for anyone who wants to find out more about rosacea. So what is rosacea? So rosacea is a skin problem and it's characterized by redness in the skin and also small bumps in the skin, uh, so pimples. The way you um, distinguish it from acne, it's a couple of things. So one is rosacea has a, it can occur, it's usually focused around the nose and the T-zone area. Um, that's one of its uh, characteristics. The other is the redness is always present, which isn't the case in acne. Um, but sometimes in milder cases, they can be uh, confused with each other and there might be a little bit of overlap. Um, rosacea can happen in men and women, and it can happen in any, uh, across a range of skin tones. Anyone can get it. However, it's more likely, uh, more commonly seen in people with uh, lighter skin. So, um, unfortunately, there isn't really a known cause for rosacea, which is one of the reasons why it's quite tricky to treat. So, um, with that being said, people often uh, have triggers for their rosacea. It's something that may not be there all the time and there are certain triggers. So uh, triggers like um, environmental exposure, so sometimes um, someone being in a very hot um, kind of environment might trigger their rosacea. You might also have medications. There are some blood pressure medications that can trigger rosacea. Um, you might also, uh, some people find um, certain cosmetics uh, can trigger their rosacea. So it's a whole range of things. It has nothing to do with kind of cleanliness or keeping your skin clean like acne. There are environmental triggers and then there are triggers that are sort of, um, you're genetically predisposed to it. So with rosacea, another trigger um, is stress or, and hormone related as well. The reason I mention these triggers is although we don't know what the cause of rosacea is, it's important to know that there are, um, there are triggers and if you can identify anything that's kind of triggering the tr rosacea or making it worse, then you can at least control these uh, triggers um, and in doing so, control the rosacea a bit, the flare-ups of it. Um, so, uh, with rosacea, there are kind of a, a range in the symptoms, so from mild cases, um, and I'm just putting up some pictures to illustrate, um, but also chronic, you know, rosacea that's kind of um, been going on for a long time can lead to rhinophyma, which is where basically you get the thickening of the skin, you get these nodules and these bumps um, around the nose, and this um, appearance um, you know, it can be quite distressing for some people and this is something that isn't acute, it doesn't happen suddenly, but this is uh, something to be aware about in, um, as, a, as a, a final path of rosacea. So um, if there aren't any um, known causes, how do you go about treating rosacea? Well, number one is firstly you identify the triggers. Um, if there are obvious triggers that make it worse or make it come on, then trying to stop these. So whether it's if it's stress, trying to manage stress, if it's a medication, going to speak to your doctor and seeing if there's a different medication. So uh, some of the blood pressure medications or medications that um, kind of affect blood vessels may trigger um, rosacea. Then in terms of stuff that you can do um, treatments wise, well, there are some creams um, that can help with rosacea. So, for example, um, azelic acid is uh, something that uh, you can uh, get a weaker prescription of it just over the counter, um, so from the drugstore, 
or you can have a prescription for it um, and azelic acid can help. It takes a few weeks but it can help with the rosacea. There are also other things like um, uh, antibiotic cream, metronidazole cream that can also help with rosacea. Um, again, when you're thinking about these things that are medication-wise, it's really important to go and see a, a dermatologist and discuss this with them. Um, other things are, if I guess, the um, topical treatments, so creams that you can put on your face. Um, if those aren't helping, then, um, or if your case is quite advanced, then there are other things. So uh, antibiotics, so some, there's, again, some of the antibiotics that can be used for acne, like doxycycline, um, these may be tried um, in rosacea. And whilst they may not help with the redness, they will help with the pimples um, and the bumps on the skin. That's the same with the azelic acid um, and the creams. Um, for something that can help with both kind of the, the, the pimples and actually also the redness um, and the bumps, um, laser therapy is really um, something that we know does work and um, obviously depends on the type of the, the laser and you will have to go to a, um, a doctor or, or a, a medical practitioner who is comfortable and experienced in treating rosacea specifically. Um, but laser therapy can help by resurfacing the skin, by shrinking the blood vessels and that can help with rosacea as well. Um, other, um, you know, at the other end of that, um, so for things like rhinophyma, laser, but also surgery may be needed to help um, with this treatment. Um, because again, it's, it's quite extensive. Um, and so really identifying which treatment works is going to be dependent on what the triggers for the rosacea are and what stage it's at. And um, other things that, um, that you could do in terms of reducing the redness itself, there are skincare products. So firstly, avoid any skincare that's really going to irritate your skin because that could trigger rosacea. But you may be looking at um, skincare products designed to sort of calm the skin um, in a way, the sort of treatments that you might find useful in people with sensitive skin. Um, treatments that um, there are some skincare products and even drugstore ones um, like uh, Bioderma um, that offer a rosacea range. So having a look to see whether those products can help reduce the redness at least. And then with the pimples, maybe treating them in, this, in a similar way to acne in terms of um, maybe using acetic acid, um, keeping, uh, reducing inflammation in the skin, that can help as well. Um, and it's really important to remember that all of these treatments will take time to work. So with rosacea, it's not going to, just because you've identified a trigger and you've stopped it, the rosacea is not going to go away immediately. And the same with any of the, either the creams or even laser, that's going to take time before you see results. So it's really important that if you commit down a path for these treatments, you carry on with it. And it may take several weeks before you start to see something. Um, if the appearance of the rosacea is particularly upsetting to you, there are also um, uh, cosmetic um, sort of uh, makeup that can help with covering it. Again, it's really important when looking at makeup, look at brands that are um, kind of used for people with sensitive skin that may um, avoid sort of triggering um, a, a, a breakout. Um, of rosacea um, and also look at um, non-commodogenic makeup so make sure it's more water-based than oil-based. Um, if you're looking to cover things that are red, having um, concealers um, that are designed to work against redness so perhaps have a green base that cancels out the redness. The other thing that's really important um, that I, I, I always mention, but in rosacea it's really important also, is protecting your skin against the sun. So we know that heat and also UV light can um, uh, trigger or worsen rosacea. So it's really important to wear sunscreen whilst you're out. And again, look for a sunscreen that um, is uh, you know, designed to use for skin that's a little bit sensitive, sunscreen that's designed for someone with acne prone skin might be useful, um, but really wear SPF 50 or above 
whenever you're outside, even if it's not sunny, and that will help. Um, so I hope this is useful. I know it's always disappointing when uh, there are things where we don't know the cause and so we don't have an adequate treatment, but there are some treatments that can help with rosacea. It's important to stick to a course of treatment um, and see it all the way through unless it's making things worse. It's important to identify the triggers for your rosacea and to sort of know that there are things that can help, but it's a matter of being patient um, and, and you know, um, not, not worsening it by being really stressed about this, um, which kind of can be a vicious cycle. Uh, that's sort of all I have to say right now for rosacea, but please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below about rosacea or any other um, skin or aesthetic uh, questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please give this video a thumbs up. Until next time.